morning guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God today's video is going to be a sort of desk tour how I have my desk organized um, I was gonna wait to make this video but I realized that between this video and doing my bookshelf tour they would never be as finished and complete as I would want it to because there will always be things that I want to add, things that I want to take out, things that I want to change. So I can always do like updates every six months or so or every year. So I'm going to show you guys how I have my desk organized. Sorry about the glare from my glasses, but I definitely need to put on my glasses. Um, let me just move this case out the way. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I set my desk up. I got my desk from my local discount store it was about $85 um it retailed for $79.99 but with tax and everything it came out to about $85 they did have this same desk um but in a wider kind of uh it was basically wider basically is what I'm saying the desk was wider and the um drawers were a little bit wider as well it retails for like 90 sorry $99.99 which would have been about $105 but um, I didn't get that one just because the space that I have it in, um, I do live at home with my, my, my mom and my siblings. Um, and I do share a bedroom with my son until we move in with my fiance, who is his father. So until I make that, um, until we make that move and that plunge, I'm at home. And, um, you know, my room isn't that big. For one person, it's big. But when you have a four-year-old who has a lot of things and lots of toys, I mean, um, it's not enough space so I wanted a desk that would fit comfortably in this area and um, be wide enough and big enough for me to store my pens and Bibles and stuff like that because this desk is specifically for me to do my Bible studies and any type of things like that but I also have my laptop on the desk as well so I wanted a desk that was nice pretty um, I wanted a white one at first but I figured my son could use a desk when he has homework and I don't want to go in the kitchen with him so I got a black one and um, I love the top because it's glass if you guys can hear that it's tempered glass if I'm not mistaken and um the crazy thing is I had to get the um, display desk because they had no more in the boxes when I went this was the last one and the lady was like they had no more in stock if you want you could take the display and it was already put together so it worked out um, and plus my mom got a new car so you know we were able to pack everything up in her car and um, get here in the house and I love it it fit perfectly in the little corner and it fits everything so well like I said it's not completely done there are still things I want to add things that I want to change um, you will see my laptop but my laptop will be switching um, I'll be getting a new laptop soon probably um, something that as thick as this laptop I want a thinner one just because this laptop is done for like it's completely done for but I'm gonna share with you guys sorry about the glare again um, my desk and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's flip the camera around and jump into it okay guys so here is my desk the top shelf I'm gonna give you a quick overview and then go through it with you guys so that's the top the actual desk itself and then at the bottom um, I have things under there with that boxes one drawer here and then another one here so I'm going to run through this with you guys, but quickly before I say anything, um, this clamp here and then the other one on the other side are actually selfie ring lights that I actually use um, when I'm making my videos, which is awesome. They're, they are for your phones, um, so I have those clamped, one on each side, and I also use them for professional use when I'm working on a client doing makeup. Um, I like to take that just so that I have enough lighting, um, and they're not as expensive as actual ring lights, which I freaking love. <laughs> But um, starting up here, well first starting this way, so you guys cannot see it, but that painting I actually did myself when I went to a paint and sit with my fiance for his client, who was also one of my favorite hairstylists, yes, and then this painting on this side is one that my son actually did himself um, about a year or two years ago, I can't even remember, but he did that painting himself, so I just have those on my wall, and then over here, if I can just unscrew this a little. I have these little cards, so that one up there, the pink one says you can, this one under it says stay focused and never give up, and then below that one it says if you can dream it, you can do it. Then I have a black one, you're not really able to be able to, you're not going to be able to see it, but it is right back here, it says you are your only limit, 
So, I just have those up there for inspiration. But, now, everything up here. Okay, so, I'm going to start on this side. So, first thing, I have these essential oils. Now, I have a ton of essential oils. And if you guys want to know, um, I'm actually going to do a video on how I keep myself... Um, and keep my mind in a quiet space because I think essential oils or candles or wax warmers help with that. Um, I can I'll show you guys my collection and stuff like that. But these are just the ones that I've been loving recently to use in my small diffuser. So we have this one, which is spiritual. It's a mix of bergamot, clove, and lavender. Um, and this is from Walmart. These here, these small ones, are from my local discount store. I have like four discount stores up the block for me. Um, and these were only 99 cents each. They're from the company Sunflower Cosmetics. Um, but this one is Cool Water, Sea Breeze, Vanilla Fields, Honey Rain, Enchanted Apple. And then I have this one I got for review from um, Naturedix. And it is in lavender. And then I just have the little cup here to put the water in the diffuser. But, um, okay, so these this box, I have one here and one over there. I actually have five of them, but I'm using three of them right now. These boxes are Victoria's Secret boxes. They're gift boxes that my sis actually got um, because she needed to, I think, purchase something else to get free shipping. So she bought five of these, and she didn't need them, so I'm using them because they're absolutely stunning and um, great for storage space. They are magnetic, but I did uh, glue them so they, they could stay shut. So, just letting you guys know that. But, in this first one here, I keep the uh, Daily Question, which is the 5 Year Spiritual Journal. I did receive this for review um, last year, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, I got it from Blogging for Books, but that company is no longer open. Um, you can go to their website still, which is Blogging for Books, I think, .org or .com. It'll be linked down below, but they're, they're closing, so if you want to request books from them, you have to request ebooks through NetGalley. Um, but I did get this from them, and I do love it. I haven't answered it in three days, obviously. You can't see it, but... I haven't answered anything in this in three days, but um, it's a really good one. I really like this one to keep me focused. And then I have a bunch of journals and books in here. So this one here... It says, Be Bright. I got this from Walmart. This is my devotional journal. Um, so, it's almost finished, actually, which is crazy. But I do all of my devotionals in here. And you guys know I do three devotionals a day. Um, not including other devotionals I may do, but I stick to three a day um, as far as the books that I have. I have this one here, which I got from Dollar Tree. It's just my book and um, movie notes journal. And when I'm reading books or watching movies, so when I watched War Room, I made notes. When I read Fervent, I had notes. Um, when I read Wisdom of the Bible by my First Lady, I took notes. What else did I take notes on? Love Unending by Becky Thompson. The Woman of Easter by Liz Curtis Higgs. Um, and then Cling by Kim Cash Tate. Now, not all the books do I write notes on. I don't even think I finished the one for Cling. No, I did not. Because I started writing in my actual books. So, this one I got from Walmart. I think all the other ones I'm going to show you are from Walmart. This is from Walmart, obviously. And this is where I put my Bible study notes. I can't open it because I have Bible study notes in here. But um, my Bible study notes from church when I do go to Bible study because they have Bible study every Tuesday. My church is still in New York in the Bronx, but obviously we live in Jersey, so I can't go every Tuesday. Um, I'm hoping to be able to go every Tuesday actually in the summer. Um, but right now during the school year, obviously I can't because I do have to take my son with me. But um, I do go once a month with my mom. So we went this past Tuesday and I took that and I put all my notes in there. Um, this one here is another journal that I use for kind of like online studies. This one is actually for email studies that I get and specifically with Sarah Kuntz. Um, this one says she believes she could, so she did. And, um... This was her Worthy of the Calling study. Sorry, Worthy of the Calling study. And I took all my notes in here. She, this was her second study. The first one was on Psalm 119, I think. I have the email so that I just haven't done that study yet. But um, she has another one starting April 2nd on Wisdom. It's on King Solomon, so I'm excited for that. So those notes will go in here as well. Um, and those are literally a 15-minute kind of 
Bible study session that you do. She emails you the um, the, the the scriptures for the day with some information, and she will give you some assignments here and there. But um, I really go in depth and study words that she gives and stuff like that. So it's a really good one to do if you're looking to get into your Bible study, but you don't have a lot of time. That one's only 15 minutes. It's really good. Then I have this journal here, which says, Have a Happy Heart. I use this for when I'm following along with other preachers on YouTube or the Internet. So this one it was from um, Relationship Goals with Pastor Michael Todd. That is um, the pastor for Transformation Church. He did Stride. I did all of that. Um, I think I did three of his so far. Yeah, he did one called The Inner Circle. So I put all of my notes in here. I'm actually going to be watching a few Priscilla Shire sermons as well. So sermons that I watch for preachers online go in there. So whether it's from Priscilla Shire or anyone like that. Um, this journal is what I use for prayer, specifically prayer. I've been using this for the School of Prayer that I've been going to every week, um, every Saturday. I won't be able to go this Saturday though because I have something planned. But um, my notes for that are in here. So... Prayer notes on prayer, just prayer. The next one is this journal here, which I got this one. Um, oh, and that last one I also got from Walmart. This one I got from Michaels, if I'm not mistaken. It was Michaels. I mean, I got a set of four of these. Um, they're different covers, but I bought four. This one I use for devotionals that I do on the Holy Bible app. So, um, you know, stuff like that. I do the Holy Bible app devotionals in here. Then I have my favorite book, Fervent, by Priscilla Shire, because this book is phenomenal. I will be rereading re this a third time, because <laughs> I read it once. I'm reading it now with the girls in the Daughter of Increase Facebook group, and then I'll be reading it again, just because it's such a good book. I have this Bible study here, which is Jesus' Blueprint for Prayer, Applying the Lord's Prayer to Your Life from Our Daily Bread. Um, I've gotten into it, as you guys can see. I've read it highlighted, but I haven't finished it, so I just have it here to remember to do. Because I'm really focused on prayer this month and next month, so. Then I have this journal, which I got from Dollar Tree. It is a craft and white paper kind of journal. This one is where I want to focus on um, the people of the Bible to, like, uh, I don't even know, not biographies, but, like, write stuff about the people of the Bible. So I, I started it when I was studying John, and as you can see, I picked a quote from John. Um, I wrote some characteristics about him. And I started the one for Ruth, but never finished it, so I need to really dive into this. I have Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King, which I am reading um, terribly behind, because I think they're finishing up this book this week. Terribly behind on this, but um, I'm doing the Our Daily Bread Book Club. I need to, to really get back into this book, but it's so good because... What I like is that, you know, she gives you stuff to read on, then she gives you some like a scripture to write out, stuff to think and talk about that you can answer in the book, and then a prayer, and then something that you can use to apply what you read in the chapter to your life, so that's awesome. This journal I got from eBay. I purchased this one on eBay. It's a Peter Popper Press, and it is the Peach Orchard Journal. I use this one for the DOI devotional that we're doing in my Facebook group that my sis Angela wrote. Um, it is called Plugging Into the Holy Spirit and Amplifying Your Life. So i just been putting my devotional notes in here. I am far behind. We are like on day 26 or 27 now. I'm way behind, so I need to catch up. Um, but I have that. This journal also from Walmart, it says Walk by Faith. I use this for video ideas, blog post ideas, anything that's going on with Daughter of Increase. I put my notes in here. This one I got from Dollar Tree. It's a journal. I put all my passwords in here, literally. It's just a password journal. Um, hopefully my hand is not in the way for you guys. But let me just grab the last set of things. So... Whoa. Okay. So I have this little slim line. Um, it's a thin line New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs NLT Bible. Literally. And I purchased this for I got this for myself actually. I didn't purchase it. But um I think it's a thin line or pocket size. I'm trying to find the name. Yes, it's a pocket thin line edition, New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. So it's all the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. And um 
I was using this when I was going through the scriptures and finding um, things that I liked from the New Testament. I was highlighting it in pink. I have not been doing this in a minute, so I actually need to start doing this. And I like to keep this in my um, purse. I'm actually going to take this out. Keep it out. Um, and then I have a bunch of little devotionals here that are from Our Daily Bread and Little Studies. So I have this one, which is The Promises of God, Taking God at His Word by Kurt Dehan. Prayer Changes Things, which is a little devotional for 10 days. Let's Pray by James Bank. And I have a few of his books. His books are really good. This one is In His Presence, Spending Time with God by Dennis Fisher. Moving Mountains, The Practice of Persistent Prayer by Dr. David M. Crump. Talking with My Father, Jesus Teaches on Jesus Teaches on Prayer by Ray Steadman. Jesus' Blueprint for Prayer by um, Hayden W. Robinson. And this goes with the actual study here. So, as you can see, a lot of things on prayer. This one, which is Ruth and Hannah, Learning to Walk by Faith by Alice Matthews. Love this little, oh my god, her work is amazing. Free in the Spirit, Romans 8. I'm actually going to read this today because we actually studied Romans 8 and, and Bible study yesterday at church. So I have to read that. Um, then I have three Easter devotionals. This one is not a devotional, actually. This is just a study. Um, it's A Rumor of Hope, The Good News of Easter by Ray Steadman. And then these two 10-day devotionals, Amazing Grace, which is actually an Easter devotional from last year. And then He is Risen, which is a Resurrection Sunday devotional for this year. So, I have those just sitting up here in this little pretty box. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. This video might be long, so bear with me. So here is a little container I got. It's like one of those little magazine file holders. Um, I actually had three of these. I had one of these and then two regular ones that were this wide um, on each side. And I didn't stuck my Bibles in between, but these boxes were so much better because I really wanted my desk to be like pink, purple, and black. It didn't work out, so <laughs> I still have this one until I get a new color. But, um, yeah, so in the front I have this card. It says Gratitude. Counting your blessings. It is from me and my big ideas. Um, it is one of their little. It's kind of like a Project Life card. I can't remember what they call their cards, but um, it's really pretty. I laminated it when I had a laminator, and I've had this now for three years, two, three years, and it's really, really pretty. Labels that all are from the Erin Condren when I had them. I've had I think three or four Erin Condren, so these are labels that I use now when I'm sending out packages. Straws, because you can never run out of straws. And let me take a sip of my coffee. I'm going to have to heat that coffee right back up. But, um... Sorry, you guys. I have a sample here of uh, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is in 173Y445. Um, I got this sent to me for review. I haven't even used it yet, so, yeah... Then I have the Nelson's Biblical Cyclopedic Index, the Everyday Matters Bible for Women, and the um, NLT. It is from Hendrickson Bible. This is a good one. I'm going to do a Bible review on this soon in a tour. Um, but this is a Bible that I use specifically when I'm watching online sermons. So I'll, I know that Pastor Michael Todd from um, Transformation Church uses the NLT Bible a lot. Um, the translation, sorry. So I use that with that one. And um, I just decided from now on when I'm watching online um sermons to use that Bible specifically. So that's dedicated to online sermons. Um, as I told you guys, all my Bibles have a specific use. Um, then I have some papers. So this is my Ruth study that I did um, when I did Ruth last year. This is a list of transition words because I use it in my devotional Bible. These are scripture studies from my sis Anne, who's um, freaking amazing. It's the same one that did the um, created the 42-day devotional for my group. Um, these are some scripture studies she sent, and I, I had to print them out because they were really good. This was uh, the 21-day consecration scripture guide that um, we did at my church. I have my two signs, Bible study and recording videos. The actual um, image is from Belinda Celine's website um, for her. is is under her Erin Condren covers. But um, I went in and did what I needed to do to use them for my room when I'm making videos. And then this folder is, um, it goes with this for the School of Prayer. 
these are the printouts and stuff that we had, the lessons and stuff that I need to go through. Okay, so we're almost 20 minutes in and I'm still on the top shelf. <laughs> Alrighty then. So next we have this. Um, sorry guys, this is where I write my to-do list. Um, the dry erase board is from Dollar Tree. This side is a to-do list and then this side is for when I do my intercessory prayers because I try to do intercessory prayers every day and I'll show you guys where I put that at. Um, and then this is just a list of the songs that I played when I did the chapter 4 for Ruth study. So I just write those down because some people don't know who the um, artists are and who the songs are by. Let me just put this stuff back. But like I said, another one of those boxes from Victoria's Secrets. I have my Our Daily Bread devotional and In Touch devotional. Then I have my beautiful Bibles. So over here is the HCSB Study Bible for Women from Holmans. This is my devotional Bible, which you guys actually saw a video on. So you can click the on the screen for that. This is the She Reads Truth CSB Bible in the Poppy Linen, which I did a sort of, un not unboxing, but flip through first impressions of. This is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible from, I can never get this name right, Kirkbride, sorry, it's from Kirkbride. The review for that Bible is coming soon, you guys. It's just, I don't know how I want to do the review because it's such an intense Bible and I want to get as many aspects of the Bible as I can to you guys so you guys understand how to use it. But the video for that is coming really soon, so no worries. I know a lot of you guys are interested in that and I'm going to do that video. It's probably going to be a two-parter. Um, giving you guys a flip through slash review and then showing you guys how I actually use it because that Bible is amazing and I actually got a new idea on how to use it from my sis and again I'm mentioning her a lot she does watch my videos so and if you're watching this hey but um yeah the way she she sent me a picture last night of how she's using hers because this is in essence a cross-reference Bible but this Bible doesn't have all the cross references out there so the way she's doing using hers is she's putting her own cross references that are not included for the scriptures which I think is amazing so this will officially now be my cross reference Bible I don't know how I'm using my she reads truth Bible yet because I heard I hear a lot of people are complaining about how thin the pages are so I'm still working out how to use my Bible for that so we'll figure that out but this is a single column ESV journaling Bible which I use for the Bible studies that I do in my Facebook group and you guys will see the uh, Ruth Bible study soon. I'm going to post that in April for you guys who weren't in the um, group. So you'll see that. So again, all my Bibles have a use. This is for sermons that I watch online on YouTube. This is specifically the Bible I use when I'm reading my devotionals such as the Our Daily Bread or In Touch. Um, I don't know how I'm using this yet. This is going to be my cross-reference Bible. Um, and then this is the Bible I use for when I am in essence teach I say teaching because I don't like I don't know I just I feel weird saying teaching but um, when I'm teaching or doing Bible studies with you guys online so that's that so let's just put this back let's put it back so that's how I have the top set up and um let's bring you guys down bring you down bring you down bring you down alrighty and back you up so you can see me clearly standing here hi <laughs> so this is my laptop it's HP um, this laptop is hit you guys I don't know if you guys can see over here it has completely come off the hinge not completely but like it's coming off the hinge so I need to just get a whole new computer we're working on that but um back up so over here I have some more selfie lights cuz I was obsessed with getting selfie lights for making YouTube videos so I have this one here which you can dim down and then dim back up. And then I have this one, which I love because it gets super bright. Like, that gets bright on you. So I love that one. Then I have this photo here that we took for my son's first day of school. He had to take a picture of the family. So we have that. Um, I, I want to show you guys this back here. So let me take the picture off. But So that wall... Uh, sticker I got from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree really has some nice stuff when you look around, take the time and look. So I just have um, that gorgeous wall sticker there. I just thought it would be pretty. Then this here are powerful prayers for your husband, and it literally goes from Sunday to Saturday. Now I am not married. We still are engaged. We've been together now. This will be our sixth year together. 
um, and we do have our son who's four. We're not married, but I still use those prayers for him because we are, our end goal is um, marriage. We are working towards marriage. That is something that we both have on our minds. Um, and I find that those prayers are good whether we're married or not for him because we've been together so long and I'm looking we're both looking forward to marriage. Hopefully that makes sense. So whether you're married to your, your significant other or not, um, if your end goal with this person is marriage, I think there's nothing wrong with praying these prayers. Just instead of saying husband, you would say fiance or put their name. But okay, so remember I was telling you guys intercessory prayers. Now, I was real ghetto. I think I'm going to just move those around. But I have this purple envelope here and then I have this white one here. This white one has nothing in it. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing in here. But this intercessory one, this this purple one, which I honestly didn't realize it was, it matched. Um, I, I know you guys purple. I, I know you guys know that purple is royalty, but I also associate prayer with purple. Um, I don't know that always was how it was in my brain, but um, I put my intercessory prayers in here, and I have about five or six in here so far. I don't know, but my prayers go in here, and um, I write them on index cards, and once they're answered, I plan to move them over there. Um, into the white folder, but that's that. So, quickly, I want to show you guys my wall. Uh, this little corner here, hopefully, is showing all of it. That whole thing of my wall is um, my prayer wall. I have prayers that I wrote from the fervent book, and then the index cards are like scripture, scriptural prayers that I've written um, with the help of the 42 day devotional that we're doing in my group, obviously. Um, and the donut is just a sticky note with codes um, for me as a blogger. So, let's move this up. And let me actually just take the sticky note down because I don't need people using those codes because I'll get in trouble, obviously. But over here, this is the little white um, pencil organizer I was telling you guys about in the little mini haul that I shared. So, I have that. I ordered this off of Amazon. But I have my speaker. This speaker is... What is the brand? Uh, Marcy. I got this for review, obviously. I, a lot of these things you're going to see are from review um, product items because I do a lot of reviews. But um, I got that. Love that speaker. I've I've gotten other speakers, but that speaker is like the loudest. But um, this is my little pencil organizer. I love it. So inside here, I just have some sticky notes. I have my donut. Regular post-it notes. My little ice cream scoop. The kissy face emoji. The poop emoji, and then I have these other ones that I got from Walmart, which are the flamingo, the feather, pineapple, and then these uh, arrows. Those you can get from Walmart. They come in three packs, but I only have two because I shared them with my mom. So, that's that. And I know some people on Amazon complained about the drawer being hard, but my drawer easily comes in and out. Um, they do come in black uh, and silver. I got the white. But then I have paper clips. So I have this. I'm trying to get it to focus. Bow paper clip here. And you never know when you need a paper clip. I have this crown paper clip and then these high heel ones that I just keep there. And. Then I keep my, sorry, I keep these uh, Crayola Super Tip markers back here, as well as the Casemate Gel markers, highlighter, sorry. I have scissors, and then all of my Crayola Twistable pencils. Regular tape, double-sided tape. Uh, this is a Vaseline, lip therapy, and aloe vera. I have binder clips in here, a large one and a small one, and then magnetic bookmarks, which I'm actually going to move these binder clips and just keep those there. So the binder clips are going to go in the drawer. I'll show you guys eventually. Um, I have hauls here and a chain of my fiance eight and I from when we first got together back in 2012. My everyday pens that I use um, and gel pens and then my highlighters back here, the Sharpie Smear Guard as well as the Dollar Tree ones. Um, I have my anointing oil, praying oil, whatever you want to call it. I have my oil. Um, I actually always have a lotion here, but I put that lotion in my purse this morning. A hand sanitizer, a hand lotion. I got this from Dollar Tree. It smells so good. It's peppermint and rosemary. So good. It's actually almost empty. Um, and then I got this from In Touch Ministry. It is the promises of God. And it's just... 
this little um, thing, envelope of cards. I love the pictures. They're all kind of nature-based, but they all have scriptures written on the back with the promises of God. So I just keep that there for those times when I'm feeling down or when I want to give someone encouragement. Those are there. And then going down, we have my coffee, obviously, because coffee is good. But this cup I actually got from Target. I took a plunge and went to Target because I haven't been to Target in a minute. And I saw this, and it says, Some Bunny Loves You. And it's so cute. It's pale pink. You can't even see how, like, pale pink it is. It is pale pink flowers and roses. It has gold foil. But the foil, you can actually with put this mug in the um, microwave, which is good. Because I have a lot of mugs that have foil, gold foil that I can't put in the microwave, which sucks. Um, then I just have my phone. <laughs> but behind that, I have index cards. Um, I use the colored ones for my prayer wall, as I said. And then the white ones I use for the intercessory prayers. Um, yeah, pretty much. Then I have uh, these little things that I got from Dollar Tree. I throw change and little knickknacks in here when I can't put them anywhere else. And then I have extra paper clips here just on hand because I have more paper clips, which you'll see. And then back here is my rose gold uh, cell phone stand. I just keep that one back there. Um, I'll show you guys everything else in a second, but on this side here, I have this little, you know, pencil organizer. I keep the dry erase expo, uh, eraser, which I actually bought, like, two packs of expo markers for my son to use on his dry erase boards, but I took some for myself. <laughs> so I have this because he already has a dry erase marker, um, dry erase eraser, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, and then I keep other utensils that I use that couldn't fit inside. So I have a black dry erase marker, pink and purple one that I use, uh, this black gel pen, these pink, um, pink, purple, and green paper mate flares that I use. Oh, the blue one, the orange one as well. Uh, pen, this jumbo pencil from Bic. So just use that. Then I have my diffuser, which I talked about. Um, I don't remember what video that was I talked about. If I could find the video, you can just click the on the screen. If not, I shared this one. Um, I think it was one of them hauls, or I don't, I don't remember. But um, I got it from Walmart. I really like it. It's simple, it's cute, and it's, you know, everything. Then over here, that white thing here, right there is my garbage can. But um, over here, I have this, which... Okay, so I like anime. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I love me some anime. Um, I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. I used to watch what I call Ratchet TV, which was like Love and Hip Hop and stuff. Stop watching that. So I just have some animes on here that I wanted to watch. These are book reviews that I need to do and when I need to have them up because I could not remember because they came so late. So books that I have that I need to review by certain days. Um, and then I just had this because I showed you guys this in my video of the ACSB Bible. Then I have all of my Our Daily Bread CDs, so the Symphonic Hymns and Hymns of Re um, Hymns of Assurance, Hymns of Heaven and God's Peace, Hymns of Gratitude and Service. This one is the Christmas one. The Hope of Christmas. This one is He, For God So Loved. Um, and these, all of these up top are instrumentals. I don't think this one is an instrumental, but I did get it from Our Daily Bread, and it's In Pastures Green by Philip Kevrin Chorus and Orchestra. So I just keep those there. I was using them in my laptop, but because my laptop is just destroyed, and I, my biggest fear is it completely conking out with the CD stuck in it, I just put them in the DVD player and listen to it that way. Um, then I just have my mouse pad, mouse, um, and then these binder clips, like I said, are going in the desk, but then these two beauties, which I just have sitting here for now, because I was going to look through them, um, uh, but the Nelson's Compact Series, I have the Compact Bible Dictionary from Ronald F. Youngblood, F.F. Bruce, and R.K. Harrison, you'll see that in the hall, and then the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible from, um, Nelson's Super Value by James Strong, both of these are from Amazon, this one just came with a sticker on it, so... And these are like massive. So, backing you up, and I'm going to pull this one out. So here I just have my, obviously, my everyday journal Bible, which is like completely fanning out and getting thick. 
um, my new prayer journal, which you guys saw a video on, and this you'll see in a haul, is Quick Scripture References for Counseling, Expanded Edition by John J. Cruz. John G. Cruz, sorry. And um, I got this because it was recommended when I went to the School of Prayer. Um, a pastor from Baltimore had came and talked. He bought, like, a bunch of books with him, you guys. Like, when I say he had a desk, a table full of books, he had a table full of books and was showing the different books that he had and how to um, pray scripture and stuff. So I ordered this for myself, and um, I'm going to order my mom one, too, because she wanted one. So they have this one. Um, then they have one that's specifically for women, one that's specifically for kids, um, and then one that's specifically for men, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I'm going to get all of them. Then this one here is where I have all my other stuff. So this container, actually all of these containers I got from Dollar Tree. If you guys can see. Let me just back it up a little bit more. All of this is from Dollar Tree. I said that's so weird. <laughs> but um, so I have my headphones and a extra portable charger. Just because you never know, you never know. So this first container just has some simple washi tape here, um, a sharpener, hole puncher. This is a bag holder that you can put on the table. You can actually open it up. Okay, let me let me get it to open. Let, let me get it to open. Okay. You do it like that, then like that, and like you put it on the table like that, and then you hang your purse from here instead of putting it on the floor. Um, this thing broke so many times, which is why I look a little beat up here. I glued, hot glued it back, so I like it. Um, then I have this little, uh, what you call it? Flash USB drive. It's 8 gigabytes. And then I have this cute little Shopkins eraser that my son got um, during Valentine's Day. So I took it because Shopkins is for girls. Ah. <laughs> and then some stickers. Next one has some homemade stickers that I made, so some have scriptures on them, some are not scripture based, but I have them. Some page flags, so my Paris ones, my cupcake ones, these gorgeous floral ones, and then these are kind of like kawaii styles, so they're Japanese. And then I have Avery tabs here, just in case, you never know, you never know. And then I have this little earring box that I purchased um it is it says London on it and I just have some tabs in here not tabs but um flags page flags in there and the last one is like I said where these uh, are gonna go so binder clips homemade uh, paper clips that I made the elephant one I had before this pineapple one this leaf, regular silver one, then these pink and red ones that I got from Target years ago. So, just paper clips, just about. That's basically what's in this set. So, putting all of that back. And this one over here, I just keep an extra block just in case I need it for my phone. Uh, randomly, a glue stick, a night light for when I'm reading at night. Um, and then these cute paper clips that I got from target that I never opened so this one is more pastel I love the little pouch it says keep it together and then this pouch here and this one is more muted colors pastel but muted so I haven't opened those yet they're just there I don't know when I plan to open them but they are there those birds are chirping a lot alright so over here Sorry, you guys, this is a super long video. I don't want it to be so long, but over here, I have this little index card thingamabob jigger. <laughs> uh, it's a ring. I got the ring. It actually came with another set of index cards, which I'll show you guys, but um, I just use regular index cards. Um, I have my verse mapping key for when I start to do verse mapping. Um, the Good Morning Girls Bible Color Code, which you'll see. I have this for when I need to write on paper that's not lined, just in case, to help me. Then I have prayers written out, so this is a devotional prayer, a Bible study prayer, and then for when I'm just doing Bible study and devotional together, and then just blank index cards that I need to use. More of those colored index cards not written on, obviously. These are some cute little stickers that I need to use. Um, old school 
a Bible color code. Like, when I say old school, you guys. I mean, this one was 2016. This was 2017. And, like I said, stickers. Sharpener. I don't know why I have it here, but I do. Correction tape, which is basically white out in sticker form. And then my favorite uh, post-its from Walmart. The coffee cup and the little cute owl. I'm going to be reorganizing this stuff, obviously. But... I'm now going to go to the bottom, but before I do that, over here, I have this marble desk that um, I have extra stuff on. So I just keep my Our Daily Bread Planner as well as my Day Designer Planner here. This is a daily planner, this is a weekly planner, and my glasses case, and other things here. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. There's always an extra desk with me. So I'm just now going to show you the bottom. So I'm actually going to pause this, fix the camera, and put the flash on so you guys can see. Okay, guys. So here is the bottom portion. I have my flash on and everything. Like I said, this was the drill we just looked at. So starting in this area over here, I'm um, in this corner. My cords, obviously. Doy. But um, this box is the gift box that comes. This is how it comes from Victoria's Secret. So I have one more left. Um my sis ordered five. She didn't need them, so I have three in use, one that's already built. Um, the other one is there. I have my paper cutter here and then my three-hole punch here. And then we get into everything. So this bag is an Everything Mary craft tote bag. And I'm going to get into this bag because I need to reorganize it. But this used to be my um, Bible journaling bag before I got... All the resources and stuff that I got. I do have a few things in here, but I'm not going to show you guys that because, like I said, there are um, things that I want to do with this bag. Um, change it up because I do own three of these bags. I have this large one, I have a medium-sized one, and then I have a smaller one. So these are just the tote bags. Um, this is the actual Bible coloring chart for the Good Morning Girls that I have written on that index card. Um, I will show you guys these. So this is a bookmark that I got from um, In Touch Ministries. I'm actually still coloring it. I haven't colored it in a minute, but it's one of those coloring ones you color. And then I have these, which are also from In Touch Ministries. So this is Life Principles to Live By. And then this one are just like super cool quotes. So I like to keep these when they come in the mail. So, going down here, this, like I said, is completely empty. There's nothing in there. Just have it there. But, okay, so, over here, this has a bunch of index cards that are not used. So, as I was saying with the other one, this is where that ring came from. This is the Mendology um, Ruled Index Pastel Cards. They come with 50, um, and they have the holes in it to put the rings. I just punched holes in regular index cards and took one off. These are also from Mendology from Walmart. Um, they're tribal medium blank cards. And then obviously just white index cards. And these are actually larger pastel index cards, which I think are so cool to use for prayers. Because sometimes I find my prayers run to the back of the index cards. So regular index cards are 3x5. The larger ones are 4x6. And I actually have larger ones that I actually found um, at another local discount store by my house. So this container I got from Dollar Tree. All these containers are from Dollar Tree, so you know. So from Dollar Tree, this bin, Dollar Tree, and these are all of the devotionals that I'm doing. So if you guys want to know the devotionals that I'm going through for this year, I'll um, leave a link to that video because these are literally all of those devotionals. I'm not going to mention those again, but check that video out. Then we have this box here. Let me scooch up a bit. You might see my feet, so I apologize. I do have one socks. <laughs> but um, again, this is this white thing here is my garbage can. But um, so in this one here, I just have the Post-it Lover's Dream. Um, I like Post-its. I used to be a huge fan of doing plant, like using my planners. I've had. Erin Condren planners, I've had um, Happy planners, I've had Color Crush planners, so I have had a lot of these for years, um, but I did go through and throw a bunch out because they just were no good, but um, you know, lots of post-its here, smaller ones, page flags, this one is, I got from um, UK, when I made an order on Etsy, it's so freaking adorable, isn't it, Ugh, love it, so cute, um, my tabs, the ready tab ones that I like, sorry, 
um, and then more page flags up there. So I just keep all that in there. Nothing special. But you never know when you want to switch it up. So I, I just keep it close by. Another one of those containers. I keep my <laughs> my garbage bags in here. I get my garbage bags from Dollar Tree because um, I always put my garbage in the actual garbage before it goes out. This one is a rose scented one. It smells so good. Stapler, which I actually should move to inside my desk. So we're going to do that. This pouch got from Dollar Tree. Don't remember what's in here. Oh, paper clips. Paper clips I'm actually going to throw in that bag. So I just have a pencil case. Here. These stickers um, is where I had made the elephant paper clips from and that other paper clip. So this thicker pack, I had used this thicker to make a paper clip as well as the elephant one to make a paper clip if I could get it. The elephant one and there were other stickers that I used for paper clips. So, you know, and these are just the three that are left, four that are left actually. I'm thinking about turning these two into paper clips as well as that. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, these are the super large post its here. Super, super large ones. Um, and then these are the large index cards I was telling you guys about. They're 5 by 8, which is so freaking awesome. Are they the same size as this? That's a good question. Yep, so they're all 5 by 8. So I love these. These are going to be awesome to put prayers, like those intense prayers. Um, these are linen stock cards that I, I forgot that I had that I could use as, um, for prayers or for when I'm sending mail to people. I could use these, so I have those there. And then just these little notepads here. And these pads here that I got from Dollar Tree. And then packets of stuff that are not open. So, reinforcement labels and then another pack of the ready tag sticky divider notes. My faith journal, which I showed you guys, is here. These are the screen protectors for my nook. And then just paper that I need to go through. And then lastly, we have my other faith journal, which the video for this one is coming soon. Um, this binder is for my Bible study notes, so... For church, like I told you, I go to church. So I study the book of Romans before um, myself, but these are all the notes and little uh, packets that they got from my church for studying Romans. So I have that, and then I have loose leaf in the back. So I have to go through that. Um, I have this. You you guys know what this is, right? I was about to say paper clip, but it's not a paper clip. The board. With the clip on it that you use to lean on. Can't remember. My brain is on E. Um, and then this. Oh, this is just some stuff I need to look through too. So, that's basically it for my desk. Like I said, these both these binders came from um, Walmart. They're from the same company, Class at Stationery. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for my desk, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, I'll do an updated one probably in six months. Um, and I definitely will have my bookshelf tour coming really soon. Once I get, um, once these next two weeks pass, I'm going to reorganize my bookshelf and show you guys that. But that's pretty much it. Sorry that this video was so long. But um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other comments or concerns or questions or suggestions, leave them down below and I will get back to you on that sorry about that <laughs> and um that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys later bye